Updated. So what do you say we do this tomorrow? Well, just in case you change your mind, you know where to find me.
All right, baby. Baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> My love. What's up, baby? Stop. Come on. Stop being such a big baby. Big. <laughs> oh, stop, babe. I'll be leaving soon. No wonder. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now I know. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I've got this appointment that I need to catch up with, you know? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, that reminds me. What's up with you and Shay? Is it still bidding for your research? Yeah. Although we were yet to get an investor. But she is seriously working on it. You know, he's good at sourcing the market for investors. It's a big research. I cannot fund it alone. Oh, yeah. <sighs> okay, if you say so. So, you um, still want to go? <laughs> sure. Babe, you still want to go? You don't want to stay some more? Mm -mm. <laughs> oh, don't babe. worry. I'll catch up with you later. Okay? I love you. I love you more. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> babe, you still want to go? Listen, I've got an early morning and a busy day, so I need breakfast. Go ask Phil. I thought she slept over. No, she left already. I've got some work to take care of. Then go get a wife or something. Just, just leave me alone. I want to sleep. I, I thought I was married already. Come on, bro. Seriously. There's no school today. At least let me sleep more. Okay, fine. Mm. It's not just about breakfast. There is something else I'd like you to help me with. <sighs> 150,000 naira. For what? You're about to ask for a favor, so that's my fee. <laughs> ah. I haven't seen a sister who desperately wants to bankrupt her brother. Mm. Emotional blackmail. It won't work on me. Mm-hmm. Mm <laughs> fine, fine. What is it? What do you want? How about you come downstairs and I will tell you. Come. Here. Oh. <laughs> Ding dong.
Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> what is going on here? You're um, welcome. And now this is something. You made breakfast, like you made breakfast. Oh! Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's going on? Boy, you've never done this before, like... When did you even wake up to do all of this? Now you've got my attention. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Whatever mm -hmm. it is that made you wake up so early to make me breakfast must be important. Very important. So tell me, what is it? What a, are you about to sell me off to, to some dude in his seventies? Is this some sort of hey. right? Ah, sure. Calm down, okay? Um, I want to ask you to marry me. What? Yes, I want to propose to her. Oh. <laughs> okay, um, wait. This, um, morning trip is so you could tell me you want to propose to your girlfriend? Yes. And I need your help. To help you propose? No. Not really. You see, I really don't know how it works. Are you so, scared? No, I'm not scared. I'm. You're not sure? No, not, not that, but... Have you thought about this at all? Like... Giving it a proper thought. What's your problem, Tasha? Are you trying to encourage me or discourage me? What exactly? I'm just... Fine. What do you need me to do? Okay. I need you to help me make it happen. Because I... I don't know if she's going to say yes. <coughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. You don't know if your girlfriend is going to say yes to your proposal. Like, what have you both been doing in your relationship for over two and a half years? Oh, sorry. What I am trying to say is, you know, Phil is a little hard to please. And I want to make it special and intimate. I don't know where to start from. I don't even know how to go about it. I know what you were like. What's that? Thank <laughs> you. 
Joe. Joe. Ruska. You. Get out. Okay. Out! You have something that belongs to me. And I want it. Now. No, I don't, Oscar. Yes, you do. And you know it. I sold it. Yes. You did what? Oscar, you know you can't kill me. Yes. It was business gone bad for you. Some days are like that. I got my chance. And I sold it. Yeah, you're right. Some days are like that. You've been trying to avoid the police, creditors, your fellow criminals, everyone, including myself. Now, I admire the effort that you've put into this, trying to rebrand yourself. And I don't want it to waste. So, you either cooperate with me, or I'll personally throw you out there to the wolves. Your choice. <laughs> Oscar, why not just accept it? Yes, accept the fact that you are no longer the golden boy that you always think you are. <sighs> I just beat you. I am the man. I won. <laughs> I saw you to go see soup. You know what else I hate? I hate people who think they're smarter than me. Okay. Well. What have you done? What? What? You... He was rich enough for his gun. So what are we going to do? The man who just shot, the only lead we had is asking me what we're going to do. And what was I supposed to do? He was going to shoot. Shoot him in the leg. Next time, shoot him in the freaking leg. Wait. What are you trying to do? Are you, are you trying to pin this on me? No. I'm trying to celebrate your trigger happy finger. What are we supposed to tell the client? That we lost the package? Wow. You know, Efe was right about something. <coughs> homemade food. You now prepare homemade food by yourself. Oh, I forgot. You've always wanted to be chef. You've always wanted to live in a mansion bringing girls to your house, exposing yourself to the media, attending clubs and events like you've got no cockroach in your cupboard. And what is wrong in wanting to live a normal life? Everything is wrong, Oscar! Oscar, we are criminals! We are supposed to be professionals! We are smart! We are brutal! We are smart killers! And not all this nonsense, all this bullshit. Now the likes of Efe beating us to our own game! Man, nigga, it's a shame to us! Look at you! Waking up in the morning to prepare what suits you, your favorite, what you want to eat! While others are already out there making money, securing the bigger bag! Come on, man, nigga! That we lost today is because you've lost your touch! You are no longer the man that caused the shot! You've lost it all, man, nigga! You need to wake up! Wake up!
how is your research coming up? I don't know. But I will be meeting up with Shoei today. I just hope he has some good news about the investors. Um, why not just sell the diamonds? I can't. <laughs> you can't? Or you don't want to? It belongs to the family, Tosh. The diamonds were passed from our great grandmother down to us. If you're worried about my sharing it, you have my permission to sell it, brother. Mike, you worked so hard on that research and you deserve a breakthrough. You are smart, you are, you are an incredible scientist and all I want is for you to succeed. Of course I will. Of course. But I am not going to sell the only thing that reminds us of our parents and family inheritance to support my dreams. No. Well, I'll be going to the lab. Thereafter, meet with Shay. He has always believed in me and he has been helping me. I just, I just hope he has something good to tell me today. Okay. But if she doesn't come up with the good news today, we are selling that diamond. Okay. Agreed. Okay. We shall see. <sighs> I don't even know why I'm doing this. It's not like I like to work out or anything. You're still hiding out here. This hotel must be making a lot of money for you. Oscar, if you're here... I came to tell you that you're right. For a minute, I just wanted to live a normal life. I mean, look at us. We started from the hood. And now we're here. I mean, back then, all we did was pickpocket. We stole from shops, houses. We've done everything, name it, everything. We've worked for politicians. We've done everything, name it. And then we've built this lifestyle. That we've made money, good money. What's the point of making money if we can't spend it? By exposing yourself. Exposing myself to what? You were professionals. You, you said it yourself. We're brothers. Look, we've survived the street, you and I. I mean, I still want to run the street. But don't blame me if I if I want to cook my own meals or just do something normal. Are you quitting? I knew it. I'm not quitting. But I just want you to know that I'm no longer interested in hiding out or smoking my lungs out. So what? Are you going to fall in love? Get married? Make babies? Maybe I should. You're an asshole. He's willing to pay huge. That's the path payment. What does he want? Diamond. You know, I think you should do more of these kind of deals. And less bloodshed. Trust me, I have been talking to a lot of people. They are afraid, they are worried that this might not yield good result. What do you mean? Shay, my research has been undergoing a clinical trial. 
and drugs can save lives. I have been on this all my life. I understand, I understand, Mike. But have you ever considered them taking a loan? I mean, your parents left you guys a house and they... And what? That's all you have. My sister and I. You do not expect me to sell my father's house, do you? Um, well, then we must look for something else to do. <sighs> really, it's not like I don't want to help you, Mike. But like you said, you're running out of time. So I guess we must get something done because I advise we get this into the market on time. Otherwise, I'm afraid somebody else might. So, we just... Um... I can't sell my father's house. I can't. Mike, you and I have been friends from way back, from uni days. I cannot deceive you. You've held this piece of jewelry for God knows how long. I think it's time we let it go and invest in your future. You can always get as much diamonds as you wish in the future. Come on. Even if I decide to sell it, the money won't still be enough. It will be a start. It will be a start. At least when we have that one, we're talking to investors, we tell them that, okay, we have something already, what we just need is partnership. That way it works. <coughs> Come on, bro. Come on, yeah. So are you, are you getting a buyer? Um, yeah, I would, I would try, but then we can still use them um, online platforms like eBay, Amazon, and so on. Won't that bring down the value? I mean, this diamond is like an artifact. It's been passed from generations. It's the same thing with the other ones out there. That's why it's called diamond. That's why they are called diamond. Trust me, it's, it will not change anything. Let's get it sold and make do what we have, bro. Hmm? I will still try to get a buyer though, but no guarantee. No guarantee. Oh, all right, all right. I still have to sleep over it. Come on, you have all the time. But the faster you get it done, the best for you. It's alright, I will. Yeah. I'll have to take my leave now. Alright. Talk to you later, bro. I'll call you. Alright. This is my yoga story, Natasha. Alright. Okay. Alright, bro. Hello, man. Jay thinks same too. I'm sorry, bro. I know how much it means to you. It's okay. I know better days are ahead of us. And that's the spirit. I'll go fix the table for dinner. Cheer up. Tasha. Yeah? I... I was thinking... How is this weekend going to be? I'm talking about Phil and I. Okay. Okay. I want it to be beautiful. Trust me, you will be marveled when I'm done. I trust you. I got you, bro. Thank you, sis. Mm.
took you so long? I I I, I had to. Tasha, I, I was trying to... You know, this is what you're with. You know, since I would have finished cooking this food. Don't you want me to explain? Ah. Let me tell you what happened. Since I would have just finished this evening, just go to the market. It's taking you forever. Go. Special night. For me. For me. Hey, babe. What's up, way? Get yourself here as soon as possible. Dinner is served. All right, I'm waiting. Make it snappy, please. Love you. I love you, babe. All right, waiting. I am coming! Tasha! Wow! Uh, how does it look? Beautiful! <laughs> I love this. Wow, I'm really glad you love it. So, do you want me to join? No, you have to be in your room. Fine, mm. fine. Okay. <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm going. Well, happy proposal, bro. Thank you very much. And I hope she says yes. She will. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Um, nail this. Trust me. Nail this. Yes. Don't mess up. Yes. I will. <laughs> wow. It's taking so long.
Please, wait. Relax. Hey. We're not going to harm you. Where, where, where are you guys? Where are you guys? Hey. Hey. Please, 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 please. Put, put it where they go. Put it where they go, please. Please, 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 please. Is this what the Bible meant when it said, Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of my enemies? <laughs> I love it! What do we have there? Chicken! Wonderful! Chicken! <laughs> okay, I'm expect some company. That looks like dinner for two. No, 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 no. Hey, hey, my, my, my. Poor guy, you like to eat alone, huh? Relax! Shh. Don't be scared, okay? I like to consider myself funny, you know, ease off the tension. I love having fun. So now, imagine that we're shooting a movie and you are our lead character. Now, do not go outside the script. Stick to your character. Don't try to be a hero. It won't end well for you. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Please, I, 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 I do not want to shoot. Are we please, clear? Please. I do not want to shoot anymore with you, please. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Okay, yes. Okay, good. Yes. I'll be a good boy. Are you ready? Yes. Good, good, good. Enough with the jokes. Let's get done with this. Sure. Let's get done with what now? Okay, get done with what? All right, please. our actor. Don't kill my me. colleague here seems like he has a boss to catch. Okay. So I'm going to wrap up this whole scene as quickly as possible, all right? Now, where is the diamond? What diamond? Hey! 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 What did I tell you? Hmm? Stop playing around. Yeah, listen to me. Yeah, listen to me. Do not go outside the script. Stick to your character. Alright? I'm not a very patient director. There's no diamond. There's no diamond. There's no diamond. I'm going to count up to three. And then I'll kill you. One! There is no diamond. There is no diamond. Hey! There is diamond. There is diamond. There is diamond. There is diamond. In my room. In my room. Upstairs. Upstairs. In my wardrobe. This is the second section of the wardrobe by your left. Good boy. Good boy. Very good boy. You care to be more specific? No. Like I said. <laughs> Sorry, he might work in my bedroom. Like I said, like I said, se 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 second section of the wardrobe by your left. There's a safe bus. There's a safe bus. What's the combination? The the password is zero zero six 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 zero nine. Two. One more time. <laughs> zero zero six six. Good boy. You have a future in the movie industry, okay? Please, please. Hey! Go down. I said go down! Go down! Go down! Go down! Go down!
you move your head, I give you a headshot. I hope you don't mind. I sprayed your perfume upstairs. Quiet! Quiet! My devil! Quiet! My devil! Dad, that's my family diamond. We have come here upstairs. My family diamond! My family diamond! Quiet! Quiet! Hey! Hey! My diamond! What? What did you do? What did you do? Why would you do that? That's me! Come on! 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 For that. Was there any need stopping him from doing anything silly? Are you kidding? That guy almost peed on himself. He was afraid. He was terrified. You think you have the boss to do anything silly? I did what every criminal would do. No, you did what you always do. Mess things up. I didn't mean no disrespect, but we are criminals. I just did what I'm supposed to do. Yes, you're damn right. The next time you pull a stunt like that, I will pull the trigger on you to remind you that I'm also a criminal. Oscar, what's wrong with you? You used to be the badass here. Yeah. What's going on? I'm done being an ass. You know what? I want all three of you to get out of my house. You have the accessories. Go and give it to your client. Out! No, I'm not joking. Out of my house. I'm not fucking this woman. It's okay. You hear me? It's okay. Calm down. It's okay. Calm down. It's okay. It's fine. Thank you. 
Baby, please, you need to eat something. Okay? Please. You were late. Yes. I mean, that was because I got held up in traffic. Of course. But enough time for them to finish robbing me. Excuse me. Are you blaming me? I was robbed! I was robbed! I was supposed to use the money for my research. I was supposed to have dinner with you, but you weren't there. You did not show up. I got robbed. What do you want me to think? Tell me. Michael, what is your problem? No, I'm asking you. What exactly Everything is the problem? Everything is my problem. You are my problem. You are my problem. Just leave. Leave. Leave <laughs> my room. Leave. Leave my room. Just, just leave. Fine. I would leave. Suit yourself. I can't believe that Michael thinks that this is all my fault. I feel Michael is just being paranoid. He went through something last night. He, he, so how is it my fault? Tell me how! Look, I understand how you feel, okay? Just trust me, I do, but you have to calm down. You just... Please. Natasha, please. Please! I have had enough. Okay, I've had enough. I'm going home. I'm leaving no. Mike, what is wrong with you? Tell me what is wrong with you? It's just a diamond that was stolen. No one died. Is that all you have to say? Well, have you thought that maybe putting this online wasn't a good idea? You asked me to sell it. She is supported. Both of you. Yes, I did. But enough! You are so rude to feel! And all she was trying to do was, was to help you! I do not need anyone's help! I don't need her help! Fine! Suit yourself! Yes. I will suit myself. I need my diamonds! I need my diamonds back! I need my diamonds back! I want my diamonds! I want my diamonds! I want my diamonds! I need my diamonds! have a quiz this morning. Okay. Um, just to let you know, I reported the 
robbery incident to the police. Oh, good. I really hope they find the thieves. Yeah. And I am sorry I lashed out the other day. It's been days now, Michael. I'm not angry with you. Besides, I have a she and a diamond too, but I'm not killing myself over it. Well, you weren't talking to me. Maybe it's because I wanted you to get over whatever it is you're going through. Okay. Have a nice day. Yeah, we have to run along, okay? Thank you. Yeah, you ordered for it, right? Yes. Yeah, that's me. That's me. Okay, where's your car? <laughs> here. I'm just joking. I, I came here to see a friend. My name is Oscar. Um, Natasha. Tash, very nice to meet you. Yeah, I, I have to... Uh, uh, do you mind if I give you a ride? <laughs> no, don't worry, okay? I've booked my ride already. Mm. Well, it looks like you're in a hurry. So... Yeah, I'm in a hurry, but you don't have to worry. I'm Come fine. on. <laughs> Your ride could be 10 minutes away, 15 minutes, or 20 minutes away. Uh, I could give you a ride right now. <sighs> Come on, I'm not a kidnapper, okay? I won't bite. Put it on Google Map. Yeah. You know, I come there every now and then, but I've never seen you before. Mm. Um, I guess it's because I'm always indoors. I go to school and come back home, and by the way, it's just my brother and I. I live with him. Ah, uh, and how is he? It's good. Good, good. <laughs> um, what year are you doing in school? 400, final year. Right, big girl. <laughs> <laughs> well, my name is Oscar and I'm a businessman. I hope we can become friends. That's if I'm not being too forward. It's fine. Also, have I mentioned that you're very beautiful? <laughs> Thank you. You're quite handsome too. Oh, oh my God, stop it. <laughs> oh. You are silly. <laughs> <laughs> I love having a good time and I hope we can do that together. You know, you and I hang out. Let's see how it goes. I know you always rub it in my face that I was stupid enough to give you my spare key. But you know, sometimes, a little message like, Hello Oscar, how are you doing? I'd love to come and chill at your place, will be appreciated. Where have you been? I left you messages some days ago. I didn't feel like responding, because I'm not interested in those shady deals. We are talking millions, Oscar. <laughs> Millions. Yeah, this is the bigger bag, my nigga. <laughs> Stain with blood? Huh? 
Yeah, I'm not interested. I'll pass. So, when, when did you start caring about who goes in and who doesn't? Since I grew some conscience, and I doubt that's something you're capable of. You know, I agree. We did one or two robberies here and there, but no killing. Not anymore. So what now? No more deals? No more securing the bigger bags? I mean, how are we gonna survive? Let me worry about myself, Joe. When you have a deal that doesn't involve bloodshed, I'll be the right guy you're looking for. You better know what you're doing, man. Because you're quickly slipping off the ladder. And people are watching, men are watching, street is talking. And if I were you, I will watch my back. Freshen up. You have to. Take well. care, bro. <laughs> Hi. Hey. How are you? Good. I'm good. Cool. I'm just here thinking about you. Isn't that too soon? I mean, we just met. Well, we can't tell the heart when to fall in love, can we? I mean, you're beautiful, smart, and well-behaved. What kind of man can resist all of that? <laughs> wow, you're funny. No, I'm not funny. I'm just telling you how beautiful you are. What are you doing tomorrow? Um, I... I have school. Okay. Should I come pick you up after school? That way I get to see you and watch you smile. Fine. Um, my lecture ends at 4pm. Okay. I'll see you by 4pm. Okay. Take care of you. And you too. Thanks for letting me pick you up. Ah, oh, I should be the one thanking you. You're far too kind. <laughs> How was lectures? It's good. It's very good. Mm. And how is your brother? Uh, he's fine. Yeah, I told you it's just the two of us, right? Yeah. Well, after our parents died, we kind of formed a tight bond. Of course. Is all you have. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Are you hungry? You must be hungry. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take you somewhere. 
I have superpowers. <laughs> I have superpowers. Excuse me. You know, you wanted us to live a normal life, right? Mm -hmm. You know my kitchen is sacred. It's off limit. And that's why I'm smoking inside. Chef. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, Joe. That's enough. You can say it now, all right? I know this little shenanigan is a way to get my attention. At least I got your attention now. If it's about the deal, I made myself very clear. It's about the deal and many more to come that you will toes under the carpet simply because you've lost your balls. Or maybe you should help me find it. It's about eight inches long, black, thick, has a little nice pink cap around it. So if you find it, please do well to return it where it belongs. I'm not done talking to you. No, we're well. done having this conversation. In fact, I'm done having to deal with your mess. You want to spill blood? Fine. Go ahead. Pick some gangsters on the, on the street and kill as many people as you want. Hello? Yes, I'm home. You're a damn loser, Oscar! You're a fucking damn loser! That's what you are! No one. What is wrong with you? What has gotten into you? No, tell me! What is fucking wrong is wrong with your head? You've lost it, man! You're no longer the man! You're no longer that man, my nigga! Fuck! I said I'm not going to fuck! Nice one. <laughs> well, so what are you going to do now? I don't know. The police are investigating it. The police? Yes. Uh, you involved with the police? Of course I have to. That's our only inheritance. It's worth millions. We're not even talking about the sentimental value. Yeah, I, I get your point, but, but you know the police how they behave. Huh? I just hope they find those guys. Besides the CCTV, you couldn't trace them from the CCTV. They were maxed. Ah, oh, man, this is becoming difficult. Huh? You know, just when we thought we've had breakthrough. To think you've had this thing for a very long time and nobody came for it until now that you want to sell it. I'm really sorry, man. I, I, I was out of town when you, when you called to tell me. I just came into town yesterday. I do not know how they knew about it. I, I know I put it online as you advised. But these guys, there is something about these guys. Honestly, um, who else know about this aside than yourself, your sister, and I? Um, 
Phil. Phil? Yeah. The funny part is, she was supposed to be at my place that night because I was going to engage her. But she was a bit late. Then, came in immediately after the robbery. Um, are you suspecting her? I mean, she could, she might have a motive, but feel. Guys, you guys have known each other for a very long time. Honestly, Shay, I do not know what to think anymore. I know I put it online, but I did not put my address. This, this is an inside information. Oh boy, we're back to square one. No? We're back to searching for investors. Uh, well, like they say, once there is life, there is hope. So, pardon my manners. What do I get for you? Um, whatever you have there, uh, even whatever you have. Hi, Tasha. Is it a good time to talk? I don't know. You lied to me. I'm sorry, I, I didn't lie to you. Please, Oscar. Because I am calm doesn't mean I am a fool. There was someone there. I heard a voice and you ended the call. Your friend was around, Joe. You haven't met him. Of course I haven't met Joe. So, how is Joe? Tasha, I am not lying to you. Joe is like a brother. Hmm. How come you've not talked about this, Joe? Because there's nothing to talk about. All right? Joe is hardly around. Tasha, look, I just need you to trust me, okay? Please. How are you? I'm okay. Mm. I'll survive. I want to come over to your place. I want to know where you stay, if that's okay. Um... What? Are you... You know my house, so... I believe if we're going to continue being friends, I... I want to know you more. <sighs> Fine. I'll send you my address. Good. Good night. All right, good night, Tash.
Sasha. What have you done to me? I can't get you off my mind. Oh. Yes. Hey. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Come in. I hope it wasn't difficult for you to locate. Um, not really. I took a taxi. Um, what happened to your face? Ah, uh, nothing. What do you mean by nothing? You have bruises on your face. What happened? Joe and I got into a fight. Oh, same Joe who is like your brother? Same Joe. Why? It's nothing. He was being silly. Please, come in. Come on in. Have a sit. Wow. You really have a lovely place. Beautiful. Thank you. Please. Thank you. <sighs> what can I offer you? Anything. When I'm actually starving. Then you've come to the right place. You cooked? Duh. I'm a chef. Really? Really? If you taste my food, you'll never want to eat anything else. I promise. Okay, I can wait to taste this food of yours. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Thank you. <clears throat> to the dining. Uh. Please, make yourself comfortable Thank you. while I go inside and set up for you. Okay. Be right back. Hey. Hey. Uh, did you enjoy your meal? Mm-hmm. I did. Hmm. I did. I'm not gonna lie. I swear. I told you, I'm the best. <laughs> you are really a good cook. So, rate me out of 100. Mm, a... You better not. <laughs> 92? 92? Mm -hmm. oh, okay, I'll take it. It's not so bad. <laughs> <laughs> No. It's so useless. I told you. I need to turn up so. 
Anyways, let's hope this guy that I spoke with is willing to invest. Okay. Ah, oh, you didn't thing. drive? No, I, I have issues with my car. Um, let me drop you then. You really want to go through that? Of course I have to. <laughs> what are you saying? Let me get my key. All right. That's my brother and his friend. You want to uh, say hi? Uh -huh. oh, come. Let me introduce you to my brother. This is my friend, my brother Michael, and his friend, she. Hi. She, his friend. Hi. Well, bro, I, I have to be on my way. No, I, I, I was going to drop. Oh, no, don't worry, you have a guest. C already. Come on. I don't worry, bro, I'll see you later, all right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, be safe. Uh, <laughs> do you want to come in? Of course, he has to because my sister doesn't bring home friends all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to come in, but um, I have other plans. Hey. Have we met before? No, brother. I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, just, just, just that your, your voice it sounds familiar. <laughs> like. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> All right, okay. The truth is, I have a very sexy voice, mm. and a lot of people try to imitate it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's very sex, man. You, you got jokes, yeah. <laughs> I consider myself to be funny, you know. Ease of the tension. Now you like to eat a lot, huh? Relax. Shh. Don't be scared, okay? I like to consider myself funny, you know. Ease of the tension. I love having fun. Oh. <laughs> Guys, I really have to pass on that invitation to come in. Maybe some other time. It was nice to meet you again. <laughs> Tash. See you later. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. I'm good. I'll be inside. Oh, yeah. Are you coming? Yeah, of course, John. <laughs> should have seen his face when he saw me. It was as if he saw a ghost. What is going on, Oscar? What is happening to you? Oh, I had sex with a very beautiful lady this afternoon. How about you, brother? Fuck! Oh, whoa, whoa. Relax. Remember what happened the last time you came this close to me? Huh? You want a part two? Damn it, man! You can't be screwing the target, sister. That's so wrong! Says who? Show me where it's written in the rule book. Stop, Oscar! Just stop it this minute! Can you just stop? You've crossed the boundary and you're going to compromise us and everything we do, including the interest of our clients, if you don't stop. Okay. She is an old client. She know that. And we've served him well. My personal life has nothing to do with him. You're walking on thin eyes, Oscar. You're going to expose all of us. Definitely. If you continue like this, that's fine with me. 
because I am sick and tired of living in this charade we call life. You've fallen in love with her, right? Haven't you? You love her. You love her, Oscar. <laughs> Please, just shut up. How? Nice. It's getting a lot easier. Good. What are you talking about? It's very simple. I can't sit back and watch you ruin my life or that of my client. It's either you stop seeing that girl or I'll make you to stop. And what will you do? <laughs> I'll do what I always do. I'll mess things up. Are you threatening me? It's not a threat, bro. I'm going to pull the trigger on her head if I perceive any threat to our business. The choice is yours. It's either you let her be or she will leave for good. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> All right, okay. The truth is, I have a very sexy voice, and a lot of people try to imitate it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's very sexy, man. It, it got jokes. Yeah. <laughs> I consider myself to be funny. You know, he's off the tension. How long have you known him? Who? Oscar? Um, not long. I I met him After when... I was robbed. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you ask? I I just can't shake off this feeling touch. His voice. His physique. Uh, oh, what? You know, that night, there were four robbers. And one of them never stopped talking. 
He likes to make jokes. Annoying jokes. So after that night, I never got over his voice. Others never said much, but that particular one is like a chattered boss. Uh, so, what are you saying? Oscar. Oscar, your friend, sounded like him. <laughs> Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. I'm serious. You told me those men were masked. Uh, you think you can just conclude by a voice? Bro, people sound alike in this country. Listen, Tasha. If you had experienced what I experienced, you would remember every detail of that night. I am serious. I mean, I could remember everything. How they walked, the guns that were pointed at me, their voices. How they talked, how they smelled, and that particular voice, that voice, that that voice leaves rent free in my head. You are just being paranoid, all right? I am not. No, you are. You are being paranoid. That's the same thing you did that made Phil leave. You can't keep projecting your, your experience onto other people, bro. Look, I know Oscar. I have been to his house. I know what he can do. And he is not a criminal. problem uh, Tasha I've been calling him since last night and this morning he's he's not answering his call You 
still have your suspicions. You are saying the guy, aren't you? I need his 
house address. Please. Please. I said I need his house address now. Okay. Uh, now you're coming to my house? What the hell do you think you're doing, Oscar? <laughs> I thought you sent your dog to me earlier. You didn't like the way he barked. Enough! You know, I've always known you were arrogant, proud, and a loose cannon waiting to explode. <laughs> I see you find me interesting. You care to elaborate? Oh, wait. Do you want wine, whiskey, or scotch? We can spend the entire day watching you pat my ego. You're too close to home, Oscar. And this time you're playing with fire. Fire? <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't like fire. It burns. I love water. You want to know what else I enjoy playing with? Guns. I love moving my fingers around the trigger. Ah, the feeling is amazing. I'm going to make something very clear to you. I am extremely dangerous. The reason you hired me all these years to do your dirty deals is because you know what I'm capable of. I've heard enough of you or Joe or anyone else thinking I've gone soft. That I let the beast in me sleep doesn't mean I can't wake it up. Now I suggest you turn around and get the hell out of my house and never show your face here again. Also, if you're thinking of double-crossing me, just know that I'm always one step ahead of you. Don't do it. Get out of my house. Out! It's not over yet. Believe me, Oscar, it's not over!
I am ready! Come on! Come and fight! Come and fight! Right? Shut up! This way. Hey! Move! Bitch ass nigga. Joe, look at these guys. They're just victims. They don't deserve this. And what gave you the moral compass to determine who deserves to live and who doesn't? Look, she is a demon. He has always been a demon. We've done things for him. We've killed. And he paid good money for all of them. I understand if you don't want this anymore. It's fine. You can stop being a criminal. But come on, man. This is who I am. I'm born to do this. Brother, you can change. I said move back. Listen to me. You can change. There's still time. Okay? It's too late. They've already seen our faces. It's either us or them. Shh. 
shit! Fucking damn! Damn! Fuck! Don't come close to me! one last time. Is the job done? What are you saying? I just told you that Oscar is dead. My friend. He's like a brother to me. I don't care. You were paid to do a job and the job he wants to do. Get that guy dead and you tell him a shit. Guy, you go nowhere. Hey, you don't go nowhere. saying you shouldn't mourn him. 
but I won't let you ruin your life for him. Do not forget you have a lot ahead of you. Your studies, your exams, and your projects. You need to concentrate. Please. It's not fair. It's really not fair. He died trying to save us right in front of us. Why? Why? <laughs> I look gorgeous, beautiful. <laughs> you look like someone who is running a multi-millionaire company. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Today is your project defense day, mm -hmm. and. I have a surprise for you. <laughs> what is it? I want you to know that I will always be here for you. I love you, Tasha. I love you so much. I love you too, bro. And thank you. Thank you for being my superhero big brother. Come here. It's you and I. Always. And forever. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what's in here? Why don't you open it and see for yourself? Okay. Um, yeah. Any updates from the police regarding Joe? Oh. The police can't find him. It looks like um, he's, he's out of town already. With Shay's dead, Chances of recovering a diamond. I don't know, Tasha. I, I really don't know. No. No, we will be fine. As long as we have each other. Yeah. Oscar. Master Chef Oscar. It was different. It was. It was funny. It was. It was caring. And was nothing like a criminal. I pray his soul finds rest. Yeah. At least. forgive him knowing he he tried to make up for his past deeds even though he died in the process 
。小仙儿。I understand how you feel, but I need you to put yourself together. Okay? Let the dead bury the dead. Gift? My gifts. <laughs> okay. Um, before I open mine, okay, I have a gift for you too. You have a gift for me? Yes. You have to see mine first. <laughs> are you serious? Mm -hmm. You think you are the only one who can pull the surprise? You have a gift come, for me. Come, 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 come. Whoa! <laughs> Just come, come, come. Sorry for everything. I made a mistake. I shouldn't have asked you to leave. Please forgive me. I missed you. Oh, I missed you too. To deal with. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. You're right. Job is done here. Oh yes. I have to go now. Then um. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, sis. I love you. Uh, be good. Congratulations. I love you. Love you too, bro.
floors beyond all feelings. I'm loving you. I give up on me and the first sight of you. You took my breath away with a fast shot against the heart. Above all the flow